Hello beautiful Capricorn, welcome into my channel. Miss Reamy Healings, my name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Capricorn. I'm going to start with your, oh sorry, I have um, a, <laughs> I was just eating. I hope I don't have any food in my teeth. Okay, um, I'm going to start with your spiritual growth and your personal development messages and then I'll flow into your romantic love life okay so I'll timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins if you want to just watch that one please feel free to do whatever it is that you feel guided to listen to and watch please take what resonates and leave what does not so Capricorn um I was getting into your energy and I saw this like very beautiful and it felt very simple it felt like a very simplistic essence this very simplistic light and to me this is very much representative of your simple dreams your simple wishes just simple needs simple wants it's very simple simplicity and that's all it is but it felt as if this path the journey to that simplicity always seems to be complicated it's like why does a journey feel so complicated to simplicity um is what i'm getting here and i don't know i kind of i that's just what i got okay that's what i got and i felt kind of frustrated in that energy kind of questioning why what's going on what's happening so i definitely want to invoke spirit right now of the most high to assist in the transmutation of energy that needs to be let go of okay i want to invoke spirit on your behalf okay spirit that is around you spirit that watches over you that guards you and protects you to assist you in your healing yeah look oh i saw the medicine wheel in here circle so there is a circle of cir spirits are circulating around you as i kind of mentioned that um so let's see what's going on why are there so many complications to get to a state of simplicity the witness number 64 this is interesting to me this is coming across as like a bystander it's almost like feels like a very outer body energy a very outer body experience it's almost like you're witnessing your life be so complicated and you're looking over at this very simple energy and you're like there it is there's that simplicity there it is that's what i want i see it right with this third eye it's activated I definitely feel like you're processing some sort of energy because lately I've been seeing the third eye as this great processor of um, divine downloads and channeled messages. It's just, you know, your third eye is activated right now. It's processing information. I definitely feel like you're receiving divine intervention at this time um, and you're witnessing, you're witnessing spirit, you're witnessing your journey be less and less and less complicated. I'm not saying that there are not going to be any challenges or complications in your life. Everyone has complications and challenges in their life regardless, okay? Um, that's how we grow, that's how we challenge ourselves, okay? Um, I just feel like you really want to get to the state of simplicity, okay? So I feel like you are going, you're really trying to remove a very dense energy, a very um, complex form of energy, okay? So you're witnessing, you're witnessing that happen. Whoa. The journey, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this, the corn. It's like you're in a maze. <laughs> the corn the corn maze so this is interesting this is number 10 this is completion i'm seeing this as just a lot of energy i'm seeing this as like someone trying to peek like you see this like very delicate simple light at the other side and you're trying to peek over the corn and you're trying to see that's your journey your journey has been very dense it's been very hard it's been 
hard to get through, complicated, and just to feel a state of simplicity. Okay, but you're witnessing change. Okay, you're witnessing change, you're witnessing a, a completion. You actually here have 10, 10. 64 is 10, 64 is 10, this is 10, 10, 10. Completion and renewal, you could be seeing 10, 10 a lot. And look at this, number 29 is 11. New beginnings. Lightning. Oh, that is silent. That is silent. I'm like, what are you saying? What are it's five 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 right there? Change. What are you saying? Lightning. It's very silent. You know what's so interesting is I'm I'm kind of feeling this energy. So there are um there are many teachings, like ancient sacred teachings that state where energy lightning strikes when it strikes down on a piece of land that land becomes sacred so this lightning feels as if it's striking beyond the corn maze and it's almost it's like it's like you're witnessing this you're witnessing lightning strike beyond this corn maze beyond the complexities you're witnessing lightning strike it's almost like you've been waiting for a long time for this lightning to come down it's almost like a sign this is like the intervention that you've been waiting for this is the see you're witnessing you're witnessing spirit it's almost like a surge of energy it's a surge of light it's, a, it's truth, it's illumination, it's enlightenment, it's, it's almost like it's, all, it's, it's coming up to me as like inspiration. It's like, um, I just saw, uh, what's that called? Where you zap someone's heart, boop, what is that called? <laughs> like <laughs> surging someone back to life. It's like you're witnessing yourself come back to life. Because you've been, all you've been seeing is this this complex journey. All you've been seeing is the corn maze. You've been like in this in this maze trying to find a way out. You see the lightning and you're like, oh, there it is. That's my path. That's my way out. I see it. I feel it. And you feel this like inspiration. Doesn't this also feel like you? Look at this. Doesn't this seem like you traveling in this corn maze and you're using your third eye to guide you do you see all these um they look like they look like bushes trees leaves from here it doesn't look like that it looks like this is you walking through this corn maze and then you're witnessing this beyond it that is um really interesting energy you're really pushing through some heavy heavy dense energies right now really dense really really dense and really complicated it's very complicated let's talk to rumi before we get into your tarot okay i don't know what tarot cards to use for you we'll figure that out in just a minute There is a very strong determination energy. Very strong determination energy. Free will, get out of your cocoon. See, if I feel like for some of you, this was a very long journey, okay? A very long journey because it's coming to a completion. Okay, this journey, this heavy, dense, complicated journey is coming to a close. So for some of you, it was it's almost as if you got comfort in the discomfort. 
the discomfort started to feel comfortable. So it's this is you pushing through and getting out of that comfort zone. Getting outside of this energy. You feel ignited within this lightning. This is spirit. It's like spirit is within you. Spirit is always with you. But it feels like there is this like energy that's surging within you that's helping you um, push through this energy. Okay? I feel my body vibrating. I'm like vibrating. It's interesting because I this is... This is what I feel. There's so much of this dense energy around you. Look at all this energy around you that's kind of like enveloping you. That's this. That's all of that heavy commotion here. And it's even here around you as you push through it and move through it. It's just like you just want to shake that energy off. get one more thank you Rumi and then we'll move forward return to joy beautiful beautiful look at this energy look at this energy you are coming out of this working your way through this energy when you work your way out of this energy, it's almost like you're coming out of one portal. This is like your exit and this is your entry. You're returning to joy. You're coming out of something to go into something else. Do, 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 do you feel that? Out and then into something else. What are you going into? Joy. See, that's that simple energy. The simple, the simplicity, joy, wishes, your simple wishes, your simple dreams. That's where you're headed. You're returning. You're returning to self. Returning to a new version of self, to a, a better version of self, returning to joy, returning to the simple things. I feel like that's all you want. That's what I feel like. Let's see what's going on. I don't know. I really don't know what deck to use for you. I have the good tarot here. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the good churro because I feel I feel like a journeyman energy all of a sudden. <laughs> like we're going on a quest. We're going on a quest with you to return yourself to joy, to return yourself to the simple state of being, the presence of the divine. Such a simple state of being in the presence of the divine, the presence of life. One more shuffle and then we'll get going. I also like feel like you see something because as soon as I looked at this wit witness card, I saw it all of a sudden in, in a different light as well. And Spirit said to me, there's more than meets the eye. There's more than meets the eye. You see something. Not only are you witnessing spirit, but you, you're seeing something. Messenger of Earth. Look at this. It's the same energy. Do you see that? See the antlers on both of these cards? Same energy. Earth energy. This deer, this buck energy. There's just so much determination in this energy. I 
I want to say like, this is who you see. I don't know why it feels like that. It's like, this is who you see. See, this is a, this, this is the version of yourself. Remember how I, did I say that? It's almost like you step outside of yourself. You're witnessing, you're witnessing. It's almost that's exactly what you did. You stepped outside of yourself. This is you. You see yourself getting out of this. And this is the version of yourself that kind of started to come to life. That made you move. That made you move out of this uh, comfort state that you were in, in the discomfort. That's you. That's who you see. And this is the version of yourself here that you started to integrate with, that you started to channel. And that's why your third eye is just activated the way that it is. Six of water. Six of Cups, Memories. See, this journey through this corn energy, this journey through this complex path, there's lots of um, release. This is a release, is what I'm feeling here. An emotional release. It, it, it's painful. Look, she's um, this image, not a female or male gender specific, but this person is clutching their stomach. It's painful. <sighs> See what I'm saying? Like you found comfort in the discomfort. Now it's releasing that comfort. Now it's you know you're getting outside of that. It's going to be a very new sensation, a new feeling that you're going to start feeling this joy. Evolution of self as well. Look at this energy. Queen of Earth. This is the evolution. Look at that. It's like you're witnessing yourself evolve. You're witnessing your own transformation. Hanged man, number 12. There it is. You have another 10. 10, 10, 10. 10 of swords, 10 of air. And this is the 9 of cups, 9 of water. Another 10. <laughs> 10 of earth. That is crazy. 10, 10, 10, 10. Wow. Wow. The chariot. And the seven of earth. Lots of earth energy. One more, please. The call, judgment, number 20. So this is what I said, an emotional release, okay? The Ten of Swords was under, on the spread, I know you can't see the spread, but the Ten of Swords was underneath the Six of Cups, and we mentioned this is an emotional release, okay? Not easy, painful, painful. Okay, this is this this journey has been long. 
long. It has been filled with complexities. I don't say this lightly. I really don't. This is why I'm invoking spirit to help in the transmutation for you. Okay, you'll feel spirit. You're going to be witnessing spirit. You're witnessing your evolution, your change. You're witnessing your transformation. Your dreams are going to be vivid, vivid dreams. You can ask spirit to help you remember your dreams if you want to remember them. Just so that you can reflect or maybe journal on your dreams, okay? For healing, all right? Um... You're going to feel an emotional release and it is going to be so worth it, okay? Healing is not easy. People think it's like rainbows and butterflies and unicorns. It's nothing like that. It's dark. It's lonely. It's painful. You feel physical symptoms because some people get anxious. Some people get headaches. Some people have nightmares. You have to face what you have to face. That's what you're doing. You're witnessing. You're witnessing yourself go through this. You, not anybody else. This is your journey, not anyone else. Okay? But you have here 10, 10, 10, 10. And that, that's crazy. I've never seen so many tens in my life like in a reading and you know what's interesting 10 10 20 this judgment it's rebirth awakening and this is your higher self calling calling you calling you, even if you are not aware, consciously aware, in your subconscious mind, in your dreams, you hear all this. You hear the call. You see your higher self. You see you pushing through this energy. You see it all. I don't know. I feel like for some reason, like you do, it's almost as if you've, you've foreseen yourself push through and return to joy, return to simplicity. For me, this this hanged man is coming across as a prophecy. A prophecy. Underneath it is the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Earth. So this energy to me, it's almost like you're foreseeing your success. You're foreseeing the solid foundation that you can have. You're foreseeing a long, healthy life. And all of that is great and it's almost like now it's time to take control of this energy now it's time to become now it's time to become present in this present moment okay life is just all about presence the divine is present always <laughs> it's almost like you're you're feeling the presence of divine here's the divine right here on your shoulder always with you you're enveloped in this energy of presence this queen of earth energy this is who you're evolving to this is the next state so you went from this in the maze in the corn in that dense energy to the messenger of earth and then to the queen of earth. It's like little by little you transform. Even you can tell like there's like youth to adult. You can see that transition. Yeah, underneath it is a chariot. I am seeing, I am seeing success. I am seeing simple wishes manifest. You have here nine of cups and the seven of earth. You know, magic is just another word for miracles. It's almost like you're, you're working in this miraculous energy. 
there is some sort of enchantment energy that's coming from spirit right now that I feel like is working through you because magic works through us. Okay, it really does. And I feel like you're setting new intentions here with the Seven of Pentacles. And here, there's a simple wish. Your Nine of Cups. Wishes. Delight. Joy. Look at the joy on this person's face. And Rumi said you're returning to joy, returning to that simple state of being, the simple state of presence. Believe in yourself, okay? Please, please believe in yourself. This was not easy. Don't give up. Please don't give up. I like, I feel your frustration. I really, really do. It's almost like you even feel what your new life is going to feel like. You feel you feel yourself in this better, like you're the better version of yourself. What does that look like to you? What does the better version of yourself look like, feel like? Okay? Because you're manifesting that. You're, you're birthing that. You're cultivating that. You're integrating that into your re reality here as the queen of earth spirit is helping you in the background seven that's spirit that's divine perfection divine creation is number seven and here with the chariot i love that the char chariot is number seven here because this is this i feel like they just brought my attention to lightning because it feels like the lightning energy here <laughs> It's like spirit is taking you to a new sacred land. The sac your whole life is sacred. Everything about you is sacred. And the lightning is striking on you. This energy from spirit, this creation, this enchantment energy that you feel, that's this lightning energy. They're saying you're the sacred energy. You're sacred. Use this energy. Use this source of energy to move through. You're moving through. You're moving through your intentions. Let your intentions flow. Don't hold on to them. Let them set them free. Say them out loud. Set them free. Let them guide you. Let them guide you. Please don't give up. Okay, I know it's difficult. I know it's hard. Don't give up. Okay, Capricorn, that was your reading. I hope it resonated. Um, I'm going to do your romantic love life reading next. Okay. All right, Capricorn. On your love life sun moon rising and venus sun moon rising and venus for capricorn please in their love life one more shuffle spirit of the most high thank you for your presence guidance love and energy Mending number 52. It's interesting. This card came out for Sagittarius. You could be connected to the Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. It could be also Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cuspers. Mm. 
Whoa. Mm, interesting. Between worlds at the bottom of that. And building blocks. And poised. All right. So immediately I feel like And you know what's so interesting is this energy did come up in your spiritual growth reading, but I feel it more prominently here that I feel like you're the type of person that when you go through something, you don't show it. You keep quiet, you keep to yourself, no one knows about it, everything's fine. To other people, you are so poised, you're put together they see you building they see you looking strong but on the like core of you on the inside when that door shuts no one can see you a whole other world opens up and that's what i see here you show one you show a face to the world here but deep down this is how you feel it's almost like you you feel it's it's like it's like you're double it's like you're double you don't want people to see the shadows you don't want people to see the darkness you don't want people to see what is going on with you so you hide this aspect of yourself this is what you show this could, I could be reading for another, the other person's energy, okay? Energy, when reading, um, can be interchangeable, okay? So use your discernment, please. But that's the energy that I'm getting. This mending card is really interesting because this energy is, is being assisted from spirit. Okay, see how these two people are looking up? They're looking up at spirit. There's a thread. See the spool of thread that this person is sitting on that you're connected to. This is telling me that relationships in your life are being mended, are being healed. Okay? So the energy from spirit is being... It's it's this what I call energy transference. Okay? From spirit and energy transference between two souls. Okay? You're connected to someone. Let's see what's going on because this building blocks is also telling me that you're changing some sort of structure a structure had to come down to be rebuilt okay is what i'm getting here um the relationship is moving from kind of like this desolate state to a brighter day okay So let's see. Let's see what's going on. This is the Santa Muerte Tarot. One more shuffle. Hmm, two of Cups as I cut the deck and the Magician. <sighs> oh, I'm big sigh of relief right there. <gasps> the world. Wheel of Fortune underneath that. Yeah, there's some there's some sort of closure, an ending, okay? An ending of a cycle. Alright, something that has been desolate, something that has been troublesome. Okay, you're moving forward. Strength. Let's get all your cards out. Ooh, and let's talk about the story. Five of Pentacles. Wow. 
Whoa. I don't want the whole deck to fall out. This one came out. I'm going to take all this though. Because Wheel of Fortune won't leave the bottom of the deck. Let me tell you what I feel. The Five of Pentacles here, do you see it? It's like all this person's walking on all these skulls. I, when I immediately saw this card, I just felt like you're walking on eggshells. There's something that it's like you're tiptoeing around. Like you just really don't want to make a sound. You really don't want to upset anybody. You really don't want to like, you know, wake up this energy, right? So you're like tiptoeing, tiptoeing, tiptoeing. When this card fell out, the Knight of Wands... All of this just like fell and it made like a really big clunk. So I'm going to take it because it feels like everything that has been unspoken. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Temperance, there is that mending energy, okay, that healing energy, that tempering energy. Ten of Cups. And the Seven of Wands, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups is right underneath the Ace of Cups, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I immediately feel like this is a new connection. The Emperor, yeah, new connection. Three of Wands. Ooh, the High Priestess, Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay, High Priestess, I see you. Oh, what's that? Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. And the Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So, the High Priestess's little birds, okay, you see the bird here? This is High Priestess's bird, Three of Wands, is Foresight, Seer, okay, the Seer, the High Priestess, the Knower, the Keeper of Secrets, the Keeper. All right, this is coming across to me right now. Um, this is an oracle to me, for me, in this reading, for you. But I'm channeling that energy through me to you. So this is an oracle that's been, that you actually are connected to, okay? There's, there's a new relationship in your life I immediately felt it and you have here the ace of wands it was right underneath the high priestess so there's a relationship that you don't see there's a new relationship that is not on your radar is kind of what I'm getting here it's not on your radar could be a fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? You have here the Emperor. You have lots of fire energy here. Um, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, Knight of Wands. There's a lots of passion, okay? There's lots of passion. Now, when I was saying there's a relationship being healed, relationship being mended, I did say it's relationships in your life. So this could be just relationships in general in your life are being healed, okay? Because there's something, Cap there's something Capricorn that is bugging you. There's a situation in your life that you feel like you need to be okay with when you're not okay with it. It's like you're tiptoeing around the issue. You're, you're, it's like you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to make noise. You don't want to show all of the energy and the emotions that you feel out of fear, 
out of ridicule. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's just like, it's like I just, I don't want to make a noise about it. I don't know where this is coming from. It could be from the past for some of you. Because I kind of feel like this is past, present, future. Okay, the way that the High Priestess is outlining this for me in the reading. So I'm let me let me work like that, okay? Because I usually sometimes don't. I just kind of free flow. But she's saying it's laid out like past, present, and future. So there's something that you had to battle in the past, okay? And I think that's why um, relationships in your life are being healed at the, at this time, okay? There's something that you had to battle here with strength. There's something that you had to overcome, okay? There's something that caused a lot of imbalances in your life, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even financially for some, okay, with the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like you had to overcome a lot of different things. I feel like there were a lot of people here. See the Six of um, Wands? It's actually underneath the Five of Pentacles. So it's almost like you had to tiptoe through a lot of people. It's like a lot of people wanted to know your business. A lot of people wanted to know what you were doing or why you weren't with that person anymore. Or if you're still talking to that person, it's like, hey, what's going on? Are you dating? Are you talking to anybody? Are you seeing anybody? And it's like deep down, you're like, it's not really going. Like my love life is kind of barren. My, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that. It's like, um it's like yeah everything's cool everything's fine everything's fine deep down you're like yeah nothing's happening um this is how i feel uh you're angry about something you're sad about something there's situations in your life that you have to um really really face that you have to overcome it's like you just don't want to tell people what you're overcoming you don't want to tell people what you went through so it's like you'd rather just do it on your own and move forward on your own with with spirit. Spirit spirit is working with you, okay? This kind of is in line with your um, spiritual growth reading. So I feel like this is just like an extension of that into your love life. Um, this is also like I feel like you were with someone in the recent past for some of you maybe even current I'm not sure really depending on your timeline but I feel like for majority of you it's in the recent past where you had to tiptoe around them like you had to tiptoe about things that you wanted to say or maybe your emotions like you could you couldn't feel like you could be yourself around them like you really had to um, kind of hold yourself back like you had to hold back your shine you had to hold back like the celebratory joy that you wanted to feel it's like it felt barren instead of um instead of the the joy that you felt inside so i felt like that cycle okay that relationship or those experiences with people is it's coming to a close your overall energy and your romantic love life is the world so lots of completions and when we talk about completions immediately there's new beginnings okay so the the current state i feel like what's taking place for you right now again depending on your timeline what's taking place for you right now is that there's a lot of healing there's a lot of mending this could be friends family okay different relationships in your life okay and especially within self within self for some of you this is even um uh the inner child healing okay so there's some sort of trauma and some sort of wounds around relationships that need to be cleared out that need to be healed and mended okay um so If you're a temperance, temperance and the high priestess, kind of the same oracle they're coming across to me. Balancing something out. There's lots of balance that's being restored here with temperance. Temperance here is an alchemist. Okay? An alchemist. You're also receiving a download whenever I see the crown that is being lit up like that, you're receiving a download. You're receiving a download from the High Priestess. 
okay it's almost like she's feeding um specific information over to you okay and a lot of it is is being processed by your third eye right now there's there is an energy that wants to move haste okay here with knight of wands is actually under excuse me above the temperance card so there's like this energy that really wants to get going into the new beginning into this new love i don't know if this is you like really wanting this new love or if there is an energy that is coming towards you okay this could be someone here that maybe is like piquing their interest around you. I kind of feel like that energy is a little bit on hold. I feel like someone's pulling the horse back and saying not yet, like you can't go yet. The horse is just like, I really need to go. I really want to go. But because temperance is here, temperance is all about you got to wait because I'm still creating something. I'm still alchemizing something. I'm still working my way through this balance. I'm still working my way through this alchemical reaction that I need to create. It's not ready yet, okay? When this is ready, go. So I definitely feel like, I feel like this is an energy, it kind of feels like this emperor here. Um, there is someone that is interested in you, okay? If you haven't met this person yet, you will, okay? Because I could be reading, again, like it's all past, present, future, depending on your timeline. Some of you may have already met this emperor-like figure, not female or male gender specific, okay? Others of you, you haven't, you haven't met them yet, okay? But you will, all right? So someone is interested in you, Okay, um, I feel like the this temperance here is really about healing what you have gone through. Okay, excuse me. It's really healing what you have gone through. Um, there's some sort of like communication <laughs> because my throat chakra is like really acting up all of a sudden. There's some sort of communication. This energy is like right here. That someone wants to communicate and say to you, I feel like it's this new love, this new emperor energy that's coming in for you. It's really interesting. Um, I feel like they really want to tear this wall down. The blocks that are around your heart. Because remember how I kept feeling like I, I again energy can be interchangeable but I feel like you you show like everything's fine but really like you're healing things are not okay right now there's a lot of like energy there's a lot of chaos it's like this person sees that or recognizes that they want to get through that they want to get through those blocks okay I am seeing you freeing from that energy here with poised as well, okay? New love. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, okay? These are intentions that you have set out. Seven of Pentacles, okay? These are intentions, these are seeds that you have planted. See the Seven of Wands? See all this energy right here that's kind of uh, collected? This also feels like the building blocks, all of these blocks, okay? So you're definitely putting up a wall, a wall, okay? I am seeing that changing, okay? And listen, walls are not a bad thing, okay? They're there to protect us because of what we've gone through. Um, I'm just saying like someone has their someone has an interest in you They're going to get through that. They're going to get through those walls that you created Okay, and, and again energy can be interchangeable So the high priestess is here with her little birds Okay for seeing all of this for us um, It's not coming into fruition yet 
but it will soon. Ace of Wands. Okay. So I feel like there's a lot of healing here that is being done. That is being mended. Okay, especially here with Temperance. Temperance is saying, wait. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. But when this is completed, when this healing is done, when the balance is restored, okay, there is a new relationship that is going to start. I feel like I don't know what I, sorry, I don't know what I was just going to say. Um, the high priestess kind of took that away from me because I was going to say some. I was going to say when. I was going to say when and then my mind went blank. So she doesn't want me to say, but I know it's soon. I was literally asking when. I was going to say it too. Um, I don't know why she won't tell me. card can you tell us a little why i it's soon because you know why because it's like the focus is not on when that relationship is coming the focus is on you the focus is on you anything else that can you say yeah the lovers the lovers fell right on top of the ace of wands yeah okay so she's just she's just confirming that okay it could be a gemini but the both of you are going to start a relationship see what i'm saying like it's almost like you you put your heart in a locket like you put your heart away you put it behind all these blocks okay and it's like you threw away the key someone found the key and they're like returning back with the with the key it's like the key is like a magnet to your lock and they just like they find you. Lock and key. Lock and key. Excuse me. Okay? So there is a new relationship coming for you. Um, high priestess won't tell me when. Well, I do actually. Like, it's soon. Um, I, I can't even say the season. Um, for some of you, what I will say, what I can say is um, late this year, early next year for some of you where this really kicks off. Okay, so late this year. So what are we? In April. Okay, late this year, early next year. This relationship really kicks off is what I can really, what I can say. Okay, because that's seeing into the future. That's for this group that I'm picking up on. Okay. For some of you, your timeline is sooner than that. Okay, that's, sorry, that's all I can say. <laughs> She's like, okay, close the book. Um, all right. So I hope this resonated with you. I love you guys so very much. Until next time.